this might be the mecca for fossils and paleontology in the Park Service. But to really understand why it's the mecca, we have to learn about the geology and what this place looked like 200, 250 million years ago. Yep. So can you set that stage for us? Yes. Um, so one thing that's an important uh, to, we tell people all the time, you know, like Grand Canyon, you can stand out and you can get that uh, kind of visual depiction of time by standing on the rim. You know that the stuff at the bottom's got to be older than the stuff at the top. And oh my gosh, you know, it's a mile deep. That's got to be a lot of time. There's not a similar place here that shows the entire duration of the late Triassic period. So what we always tell folks is that any place you stop here in the park and you're looking at the Chinle Formation, which is the sedimentary unit that's exposed here at Petrified Forest, it's, that's one snapshot of the Triassic. There's not one place here that represents what the Triassic period was like. Um, so to get an idea, um, the Chinle Formation which behind me here, the, the pretty stuff behind me, um, the colorful stuff is the Chinle Formation named after the, the town of Chinle and the Navajo Nation, where it's spectacularly exposed was laid down during the late Triassic um, by rivers, lakes, and streams. So it's a sedimentary, sedimentary rock unit um, that includes things like sandstones, siltstones, mudstones, conglomerates. And again, think of a low floodplain, very little relief, where you have these sinuous rivers that are um, incising over themselves, leaving behind ponds, sometimes drying up, um, sometimes flooding. And that's what's creating this stack of rocks. So think of like a bowl of soup that is current, that is constantly kind of lowering as um, sediment is being deposited over top of it. Uh, so we know through um, uranium lead ages from some of the minerals in the rocks that the oldest part of the Triassic period here is about 228 million years old. And the uh, youngest is about 208. So through the park, there's 20 million years worth of time exposed depending on where you are in the park. And so you're using your car, if you're a visitor, to, to travel from the north end to the south end or the south end to the north end, you're using your car as a time machine going through that 20 million years. And so um, we look at that geology uh, to help us target where those fossils might be. Because, um, you know, the first step to becoming a fossil is you have to kick the bucket, right? <laughs> the second is you have to find a low-lying area and get buried and stay buried for a very long time. So those different environments, whether that's a floodplain or a lake or a river, have different preservational odds. And so we need to learn geology so that we can target where we're looking for fossils. 